Hello everyone, I'm here with a crochet stitch tutorial today um, and this is the moss stitch um, also sometimes known as the linen stitch, you can use both um, I have two examples here, I have one that I've worked with one yarn but it's kind of a changing colour yarn and one which I've worked changing colours after every round this would be perfect for a nice chunky blanket, maybe a scarf um, something like that to add a super easy um, nice crochet detail. Okay now we can get started. So I just have your basic crochet essentials with me today. I have some chunky yarn, a pair of scissors and a crochet hook to get started. So go ahead and grab your yarn and your hook and now we can begin. Okay then so we're going to begin by making a slip knot and you can do this in whichever way that you prefer. I do have a video on this on my channel so I will leave it in the description box below. You're going to insert your crochet hook. So for the moss stitch you're going to begin with an even number of chains. So depending on the width or length of your project, whether you're making a blanket, you might want to lay your length of chain out on the bed um, or something like that if that helps. But you're going to use an even number of chains to begin with. So yarn over pull through, yarn over, pull through and work your chain of the desired length for your project. Okay then, so just for video purposes, I have chained 16. I'm just going to do a small swatch square of um, this moss stitch, but you can chain as many as you like in an even number. So now we're ready to get started. So to begin, we're going to work a double crochet into the second chain from the hook. So I'm working in UK terminology, this is a double crochet. In US, this is a single crochet. So we don't count this chain on the hook. We're going to skip this first stitch and we're going to work a double crochet into this second chain from our hook. So insert your crochet hook, yarn over, pull up your loop. So you have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. Then you're going to chain one. You're going to skip the next chain, so skip this chain space and you're going to work another double crochet into the chain after that. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two loops. Then you're going to chain one, skip the next chain space and work a double crochet into the chain space after that. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both loops. So I'm going to go ahead and work that all the way to the end of my row and I will come back to you just before the end to show you how to finish off. Okay then, so I'm just at the end of my row. I have just chained one and I'm skipping this um, chain space here and I'm going to work a double crochet into my final chain. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull through two. And that is working row number one of the moss stitch. So you're working um, alternating between double crochets and chains. Now we're going to chain one and turn our work and we're ready for row number two. And in row number two, we're going to work double crochets into the chain spaces. So you're gonna skip your double crochet and find this chain one space from the previous row and into that chain one space you're going to work a double crochet. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. And work a double crochet into that chain one space. Now chain one, missing this double crochet and moving right over to the chain one space. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. Chain one, miss the double crochet space, work a double crochet into the chain one space. And once again, you're going to continue working that all the way along for row number two. 
working into your chain one spaces a double crochet and working a chain one after your double crochet so once again i'm going to leave you here i'm going to work the rest of my row and meet you back just before the end so i'm just coming to the end of my row number two i've just worked a chain and i have finished in this double um in this chain one space from the previous row and just to finish your row off so that you get a nice clean edge into this last double crochet you're just going to work a double crochet so find that double crochet insert your hook yarn over pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two loops and that will just make a nice straight edge for your work chain one and turn your work over and you're going to basically work this um, for every single row super simple and super easy so finding your chain one space which might be a little bit tricky to find just pull apart your stitches a little bit to find it work a double crochet chain one find your next chain one space work a double crochet chain one find your next chain one space work a double crochet so you're going to go ahead and work this for every single one of your rounds um, working double crochet in the chain one space, chain one, missing the double crochet, working another double crochet into the chain one space and finishing off your row with a double crochet in that last stitch. So I'm going to leave you here, I'm going to work a few more rounds just to show you what it looks like as the pattern builds up and I will meet you back when I have finished that. And so this is a few more rows um, worked up of the moss stitch. It's a really, really um, pretty stitch actually um, with kind of the different rows um, contrasting them. As I showed you at the beginning, um, you can change colour after every row and you get a nice effect as well, a nice stripey effect. Um, but I hope you all enjoyed this video today. Leave me a like if you did. Comment down below what future videos you'd like to see. Subscribe so you never miss another video. Um, it's the new year coming up soon so I have um, so much more content for you coming crochet and knitting related. Thank you all and I will see you very soon with another video. Bye!